to the Jewish people, the thought of anyone dying for our sins because we can't keep the commandments or we cannot uh, fulfill God's laws is completely absurd because we have numerous, numerous passages, numerous. I would bore you to death if I read off every passage where God tells us in first person, not second person, first person tells us, keep the commandments always that it may go well with you. Many, many times God says, this is forever, for all generations, unto a thousand generations. Over and over and over. We find when the question comes up, well, what about in the future? It says, unto a thousand generations, to your children's children's, forevermore, for all time. Some Christians say, well, it really doesn't mean forever. And I would say, you know, not trying to be sarcastic, but what do you really expect God to say at the end? And I'm not kidding. Is that what he needs to say? Surely not. Now, what about, is the Torah too hard to keep? Can we keep the commandments? Is it too difficult? God answers this as well in the Torah, in Deuteronomy. He says, it is not in heaven to say who will go up and get it for us. It is not beyond the sea to ask someone to go get it for us. But it is near to you in your heart and in your soul that you may do it. God makes it abundantly clear that we can do it. And this is our righteousness. Now, some people will say, well, maybe that was long ago and that's not in the future. Maybe that was just in the time of Mount Sinai at that period. Well, we look at the book of Ecclesiastes, a very sorrowsome book, a very down book about depression and hurt and sorrow. At the end of the entire book, the very end, chapter 12, the very last sentence, he says, to the end of the matter, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The last prophet, Malachi, the last prophet, the very end of prophecy, Malachi ends the very last verses. Remember the law of Moshe, the Torah that I gave to all at Mount Harab, Mount Sinai. Over and over and over. This is our righteousness. This is how we get close to God. Psalms 119, the longest chapter in the entire scriptures, has 176 verses. It's all about how wonderful and beautiful the Torah is. 176 verses. Now, why didn't David write one verse and say, but don't get too excited because you can't keep these anyways and they're not forever. Besides, we need to wait for the Messiah to do it for us so we can believe in him. He doesn't say that because it's not true. From beginning to end, the Hebrew scriptures is very clear. The way we keep close to Elohim, to be righteous to Elohim and be close to him, is by keeping his commandments always for all time. It's just a quick message. Read the Torah, read it in context, read the whole Hebrew scriptures. From beginning to end, you will always see one thing repeated more than anything else. In the first person, God making it absolutely crystal clear, keep my commandments. The Torah is eternal. It's for all time. It is how we keep close to Elohim. And even in the Messianic age, it tells us that the nations of the world will come to Israel to learn the ways of Yehovah to keep his Torah, even in the Messianic age. Shalom and have a wonderful evening.